Oh man. Give me a minute. All right, let's let's go, man. All right. Now, okay, you watching this video based on the title right there, you know, Shelby, Crooked Cop, Kill, whatever, all that fuck shit. Look, the language going to be graphic moving forward. So, again, uh, if you're sensitive, you need not watch this video. If you think that the United States of America is, is a wonderful, beautiful country and you don't think no racism exists, this is not the video for you. All right. So let's move forward. Fuck all that right there. Cause I just told you, warning, graphic language. So stop being dumb ass. So let's go ahead and move forward for people that are really watching and, and, and got a deeper mind here. So the news is coming out about this officer here, Betty Shelby. <laughs> the police, all the, you know, the white female officer that was shot, Terrence Crutcher. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, this gentleman had a broke down vehicle in the middle of the street here. All this gentleman needed was some assistance to move that goddamn car to the side of the road. But instead, they had cops and they had helicopters and they called this guy a big bad, bad dude and, you know, just basically stereotyping the guy. Instead of offering some assistance, I thought it was protect and serve, nigga. I, I thought that's what it was, nigga. But never mind. Maybe your skin color gives you that that protect and serve, nigga. I forgot. Damn. I gotta check myself because I forgot what the fuck that that's not entitled to us, nigga. I forgot we don't get to protect and serve. We get to kill. My bad. I need to check myself once I'm done with this video because I forgot that don't apply to us, nigga. But anyway, nigga, let's move forward, though, right? Right. Now, with all the evidence, nigga, that has came out in this case, where the, the African-American attorney clearly showed that the window was raised and the blood stains are on the window, clearly mean that he was not reaching in the car for a gun, nigga. Because the window was rolled up already, nigga. But the the other part of the story is, nigga, that she patted him down and looked in the car prior before she claimed that he had a gun. So all of a sudden you patted him down and checked the car and then you come back and say, now he got a gun? Oh, man. <laughs> and then the funny thing about that is when the African-American attorney came out and showed the evidence about the window being raised and the blood, the blood stains on the glass, her story changed yet again. No, he wasn't reaching in the window. He was reaching in his pockets. Really, nigga? Really, nigga? So we can't get no assistance. I mean, this year, nigga, out of all years in 2016, I, I'm wondering what the fuck 2017 is going to bring, nigga. I wonder what 2018 is going to bring. Ten years from now, nigga, in 2026, nigga, what the fuck are we going to be talking about, nigga? All right, nigga? Because if you think it's going to get better in two, ten years from now, nigga, you, you on some, nigga. Because they showing you what the future is, nigga. All right, nigga? In 2016, they have clearly showed you what the future is about killing us. With all these police shootings that we don't have in 2016, with Philil Castillo in Minneapolis, live on Facebook Live, you clearly see the goddamn police officer still got the gun pointed at him as he's being shot. Nobody getting no 10-4, we need EMT on the scenes. N none of that. Alton Sterling in Baltimore in uh, in uh, Louisiana get football tackled, bum rush tackled and thrown to the ground and shot in the chest. You got a deaf guy in North Carolina getting out of his car, can't even hear what's going on and he's shot to death. 
a guy down there in Florida holding his hands up, helping an artistic or mentally delayed person playing with a truck in the middle of the goddamn street with his hands up. And he gets, still gets shot in the leg, nigga. And they claim they was going to shoot the mentally child. Really, nigga? Really, nigga? Where, where is this protect and serve, nigga? Where is that, nigga? That you're going to shoot a person playing with a goddamn truck. I keep, where is the, I keep, I asked in the last video, where is the nigga or cracker on y'all fucking poor police force, nigga? With the binoculars, nigga. All right, nigga? Because obviously, nigga, you need to do like the motherfuckers in the army, nigga. They got binoculars over there, nigga. Y'all need to get y'all some binoculars, nigga. For which you're going to use an excuse of temporarily lens glare-ish shit. And therefore, I couldn't see. You're going to use cute shit, nigga. The cute shit y'all do. Just like the cute shit. The reason, the whole point of this video that I'm going to get to in a minute. The cute shit. The buzzwords. All these shootings we don't have. Keith Scott, North Carolina, in his truck, one one even supposed to be killed, nigga. Y'all was going to serve a warrant on somebody totally different, nigga. And my question is, nigga, did you get the person that you was originally there for? Because you weren't there to get Keith Scott. In that dash cam video, for which now, now, breaking news, ass nigga, when they get to the scene now, they, they all of a sudden letting the hood up now. Talking about they let buzzword, buzzword now. Buzzword. Our engine sometimes overheats, so when we get to the scene, we let our hoods up to let the engine cool off. No trick ass motherfucking for police ass force ass nigga and crap the motherfuckers. I know what you're doing, nigga. You're trying to block that goddamn dash camera video. That's what you're doing, motherfucker. That's what you're doing. You ain't slick, nigga. But see, that's the buzzword. Ain't nobody, ain't, y'all ain't listening, ladies. So when they get to the scene, nigga, and they got the motherfucking hoods up, they blocking that goddamn dash cam video, which clearly shows in Keith Scott case that when he was getting out of his SUV, he was walking backwards and he had his hands down to his side and yet still shot four goddamn times, nigga. In San Diego, we have Alfred Olango killed for taking a quote-unquote, nigga, gun stance or a stance, period. No weapon was found, nigga. But he took a gun stance is what they, is the buzzword. 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 So if you take a quote unquote gun stance, whether you have a gun or not in your hand, just taking a gun stance, nigga, whatever the fuck that mean as nigga. But if you take a gun stance, we can shoot you. The New York nigga up there bombing and planting bombs up there in New York and shit. Oh, we cutely shoot this nigga in the leg and the arm because we want to talk to him. You know, Hassan Gagam Adam ass nigga. Yeah, we want to talk to him. So we're not going to kill him. But anybody else nigga, we're going to shoot the kill. And we're going to use our cute ass buzzwords to cover our ass. He took a gun stance. We're going to release a still photo at the, at the exact moment his hands is raised towards us so we can some some kind of dumbass way validate that that stance is, uh you know, another buzzword. Buzzword. I felt threatened. So when he took that stance, raised his hand, you felt threatened. And so that's why you shot him. Even though, nigga, he had no gun. So... If you take a stance, you can get shot. Now, in, those, in that case, real quick, let me wrap that shit on up. In that case, you clearly see the photo that was used. You see two cracker-ass cops damn near, nearby him. They were close enough, nigga, to tase him. So if you're that close enough to see if a taser is going to hit and drop him, then obviously, nigga, you close enough to see what's in his hand, nigga. 
But again, they're going to use a buzzword. I, I don't know what the terminology is yet. They haven't came out with it yet. Temporarily blindness in eye sight, but we can't see, but we heard. So we, we shot because we can't see, but we heard some stupid ass shit, nigga. It's what they're going to come out with in the future, nigga. Because they already just came out with this shit here in this trick ass, cracker ass bitch here case. The punk ass motherfucker up there talking about goddamn uh, Betty Shelby had temporary loss of hearing when she was dealing with Terrence Crutcher. Really, bitch? Really, bitch. Now, that's the buzzword. Buzzword? Buzzword, nigga. All right? I'm trying to get you, I'm trying to educate you motherfuckers on the buzzwords they're going to use in the future, nigga. Because this shit ain't going to end, nigga. So all you females that got having sons and shit, you need to goddamn educate them on the buzzwords. All you dudes walking around here with your pants sagging and shit, and like you trying to be hood, nigga. You need to watch out for the buzzwords, nigga. Because that's what they're going to use when they're attacking your ass. When they feel threatened, they're going to shoot your ass. If you take a gun stand, any kind of fighting defensive stance, they're going to shoot your ass. If you run, shoot your ass. Flinch wrong, laugh, what? shoot your ass. That's it. Because all they got to do is say they felt threatened. All they got to do is take gun, 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 and shoot your ass. So I'm trying to educate you motherfuckers, man, to get a grip on what's going on in this motherfucker. Because it ain't going to change, nigga. But like in that in that bitch case, nigga, <laughs> she had temporary loss of hearing, nigga, at, the at, that, at that moment time. And the buzzword, they say it's a phenomenon, nigga, that, that happens in an acute moment of stress for an officer. So, as a African-American male, nigga, when I walk down the street can, and I see an officer approaching me, nigga, can, can that shit apply to me too, nigga? Because it must be a scientific ass motherfucking medical condition nigga that has to be universal nigga it cannot be just to one motherfucking race nigga it cannot be it cannot be applied to just cops nigga right nigga it has to apply to be two nigga and everybody else in this country right nigga we we must have temporary hearing loss of hearing too nigga when you asking me to put my hands behind my back nigga right nigga they call it a phenomenon of Auditory exclusion. Auditory exclusion. Where you can't hear what the fuck is going on around you in a high moment of acute stress. That's what they said, nigga. So, if you take a gun stance, you're going to be killed. If they shoot you and have plenty evidence on fucking camera, nigga, it don't matter, nigga. Because... That officer had a temporary moment of audio exclusion, buzzword, and that's why they shot you because they couldn't hear you say or they couldn't hear nobody else say and they was temporarily fucked up because it was a high moment of stress. Really, nigga. And for that matter, jury, you know, they're going to tell the jury now, for that matter, you need to let this officer go because when you have a moment of stress... You just can't function right. But for a, a average citizen walking on these streets and we see a cop approaching us, oh, this don't apply. No, that don't apply to, no. To an average citizen, no. <laughs> are you are you crazy? <laughs> you know, that, that's the attorney. I'm, I'm, I'm imitating the attorney, nigga. You know, that's what I'm doing, nigga. <laughs> for, for a citizen, no, nah, this, 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 this don't apply. You don't have auditory <laughs> exclusion for a citizen. <laughs> Get out of here. This is only for cops. That's what we're doing, nigga. That's what we're doing, right? That's what we doing, nigga. I ain't surprised, nigga. All right, nigga. I know you cracker ass motherfucking police and you token ass black ass slave ass niggas wish you had the spirit and the motherfucking goddamn mentality of Nat Turner, nigga. But you sold your soul to be a motherfucking cheap ass police officer making that little weak ass fifty thousand dollars a year. You black ass nigga, right? But you sit your punk ass there, bitch, nigga. All right. Now, like I told my niggas, man, and all my females, too, load up. Get you a gathering. Get you some people that's serious about this shit. Load up. 
Let's get out here and protest. Let them, when, we, when I say load up, it has a it has a multi-dimensional meaning. Load up. <laughs> it's real shit, nigga. Load up. Let's get it. Because it, it will be some justice, nigga. <laughs>